So here are my top three running backs that you must target in your fantasy football draft to stash on the bench for a major upside. Number one, Rico Dowdle, running back from the Dallas Cowboys. He is currently RB2 on the Cowboys depth chart behind Ezekiel Elliott, but if you ask me, he offers more upside as a runner and a receiver than Ezekiel Elliott at this point in his career, and I will not be surprised if he either cuts into his workload or eventually takes over the RB1 spot in Dallas. In 2023, he finished RB50, averaging 5.7 fantasy points per game, but like I said before, there is a great chance that he will cut into Ezekiel Elliott's workload, take over the RB1 spot, in which Rico doubling his fantasy football numbers from last year and providing potential flex play is very well in reach. In terms of efficiency, in 2023, he finished 23rd in yards per touch, 9th in yards created per touch, and top 20 in both light front and under center carry rates out of all NFL running back. For comparison's sakes to Ezekiel Elliott in the 2023 season, Rico has a higher yards per touch, juke rate, brick array, run weight, and yards per reception than Ezekiel Elliott. So I'm willing to get great value for Rico in the later rounds than selecting Ezekiel Elliott in the earlier rounds. So if you ask me and if Rico Dowdle is available within the 11th, 12th round, I am willing to target him and stash him on the bench because there's a very, very great chance that when he does take over the RB1 job in Dallas, he will provide not only flex play, but RB2 upside. Number two, Jalen McLaughlin, running back, Denver Broncos. The Broncos currently have a very crowded running back room with Williams, McLaughlin, Perrine, and Estime. But if there is one running back that I'm willing to target in the later rounds, it is 100% Jaleel McLaughlin. McLaughlin finished RB46 in 2023, averaging 6.2 fantasy points per game. But when opportunities are presented to Jaleel, he definitely makes the most out of it. And I believe he adds the most juice to the Denver Broncos offense. On top of that, out of all running backs in the Denver Broncos room last year, he finished first in yards per carry per attempt, first in yards after catch per reception, first in broken tackles, and first in pass rating when targeted. With Williams and Perrine currently ahead of Jaleel on the depth chart, you may not see him get a lot of workload during the season. But if any injuries were to occur in the running back room, McLaughlin will definitely get his opportunities and will definitely provide RB3 and RB2 upside. So it is very crucial to have him on the bench because I personally believe that he is the most dynamic running back in the Denver Broncos room. So if you see him available within the 12th or between the 10th to 12th round and you see Jaleel there, definitely stash him because he could provide huge, huge upside when the opportunity is presented to him. And he is actually one injury array to become a flex play on an every week basis. Number three, Tajay Spears, running back, Tennessee Titans. With the addition of Tony Pollard, the RB1 season for Spears kind of took a serious hit, but that should not steer you away from drafting him. Depending on where you view your rankings, Spears currently has an ADP between 80 to 100 and if you ask me, I'd rather wait a few rounds later to draft Tajay Spears than get Tony Pollard a few rounds ahead. In 2023, with Derrick Henry being the starter, Spears still managed to finish RB34, averaging 9.1 fantasy points per game and 13th and fancy points per opportunity. Not only did Spears only start one game last year, but he actually finished top 10 in targets, target share, and receptions out of all running backs, which is pretty impressive production for a running back that wasn't even a starter for the whole entire season. With new head coach Brian Callahan coming over from the Broncos, expect to see a lot of shotgun formation in which I believe that suits Tajay Spears' game. In shotgun formation carry rate, Spears finished 22nd out of all NFL running backs and Tony Pollard finished 40. First out of all NFL running backs. Brian Callahan has stated that both Spears and Pollard are co 
RB1. So this is probably one of the most shakiest running back situations in which you are not knowing who will get most of the workload. But if you ask me, I am willing to wait an extra round or two to select Tajay Spears, not only from the production he produced in 2023, but if he gets a lot of offensive snaps and does get the hot hand to be the everyday down back in the Tennessee Titans pass heavy system, I do believe he is a stash running back to get, and that would also provide him RB2 upside. So if I'm you and he's probably there around the eighth round, maybe seventh, depending on how the draft is going, and you see Tajay Spears, you should definitely select him because he will provide major upside and he can potentially take the RB1 job from Tony Pollard. Thank you so much for watching this video. These are my top three players that you must target as running backs to stash on your bench. Thank you so much and catch you next time.